Hey, this is Michael Pavlovich, and welcome to ZBrush 4 Character Production 2. Leaving off from our last series where we created a high-res sculpt of our cowboy, our task at hand is to now produce a low-poly version of our character for use as a game res asset. After getting our high-res sculpt organized and ready for rebuilding, we're going to attack our sculpt with a number of retopologizing methods. For instance, in ZBrush we'll primarily utilize two methods to simplify our sculpt, ZSphere Retopology and ZRemesher. Veteran users of ZBrush will remember the predecessor of ZRemesher as QRemesher, which we'll also go over. ZRemesher is an auto-retopology solution with unprecedented speed, accuracy, and control, including the ability to dictate not only how many polygons you want, but how uniform you want your polygon distribution, and even how square you want your polygons to be. By utilizing polypainting for density and ZRemesher guides for edge flow, ZRemesher tackles the most complex surfaces with animatable edge loops with ease. This game-changing feature might very well be your one-stop shop for creating a game res mesh. We'll also set up a working file that will show you how you can retopologize completely within Maya, utilizing high-res meshes, reference layers, and live meshes to either clean up previously created geometry or create all new topology using Maya's polygon modeling tools. We'll also go over a number of other tips and tricks to increase your speed and accuracy while retopologizing within Maya. Whether you're using just one program or a number of them to get your final results, ZBrush 4 Character Production 2 will give you the tools you need to quickly and easily get your game res meshes ready for your character production pipeline. <laughs>